This is the 10th video on differentiation where we're going to extend the ideas we've seen previously um, to look at different variables over the x and y. So let's just remember, when we are finding dy by dx, that's telling us how variable y is changing with respect to variable x. Um, or in terms of a, a, the curve, it's telling us the gradient. So the rate of change of y with respect to x. So if we have different variables, so if I've got the variable a is related to b by this equation, then I know by differentiating that the rate of change of a with respect to b would be given by 6 times b. If I've got f and m related to each other by this equation, I know the rate of change of f with respect to m is going to be given by 6m squared minus 6. And I could differentiate again to work out the rate of change of the rate of change of f with respect to m. And I get 12m. So you can see exactly the same rules apply. We've just got different, like, different letters to represent different variables. So um, in this example here, we're told the volume of a sphere um, is related to its radius by this formula. This is a formula you sh that you should recognize from GCSE. And we are told to find the rate of change of volume with respect to the radius. So the rate of change of the volume, so that's dv with respect to the radius, dv by dr. So this sentence here is telling me to differentiate the volume with respect to the radius. So differentiating this, um, so I've got 4 thirds times pi, now remember pi is just a constant number, 3.14159, so just a constant number. So that can stay there. Um, so 4 thirds times pi multiplied by the 3 will just give me 4 pi. The r will now be to the power 2. And I want to work this out at the instant when the radius is 5. So we'll substitute 5 into this. 4 pi times 5 squared is 100 pi. Next example, we're told that a car is moving in a straight line and its position is given by this equation, where t is the time in minutes. I want to find its speed and its acceleration after two minutes. Okay, so speed. That's the rate of change of its position with respect to time. So I'm going to the rate of change of its position, dx, with respect to time. So differentiating this, I would get 3t squared plus 8t. And when um, t is 2, so substituting 2 into there, so that's going to give me 12 plus uh, 16, so I get 28. Um, for the acceleration, well I know acceleration is the rate of change of the speed with respect to time. So that's when I differentiate for the second time. So that's d2x by dt squared, which would be 6t plus 8. And after 2 minutes, so t is 2, so that's going to give uh, 20. Uh, just in terms of units, obviously the units for speed is meters per second, and the units for acceleration is meters per second squared. So you can see the whole point of this video is just you can differentiate any variables, doesn't matter what the letters are, you can differentiate one with respect to the other one, just like in all of the other videos.